Hey guys, this is JV Baseball here with another video. Uh, this one we're going to be talking about the AL Central. Uh, check out my last video if you didn't. I was talking about the AL East. Uh, these are kind of my projected go-to lineups that I think all the teams are going to use this year, and as well as the rotations and their closer. Uh, check out some people who are injured and when they might come back and affect the lineups. Uh, but hope you enjoy. All right, for the AL Central, first up we got the White Sox. Went 62 and 100 last year. Uh, as for their lineup, John Jay out in right field, Yohan Mankata probably playing third base, uh, Jose Abreu still there playing first base. Uh, they got Yonder Alonso, who'll probably be the DH this year. Wellington Castillo at catcher. Uh, originally, I had Daniel Palka here, but now that uh, Eloy Jimenez has made the opening day roster, I'm assuming that they're going to start him. Now that they've already given him the contract, he's on the roster, there's no reason to not play him uh, as they're probably not going to compete this year like they will in the uh, next couple years. Uh, Tim Anderson at shortstop, another young player who uh, still has some upside. Got to work on the bat and average a little bit, getting on base because he's got the power-speed combo. Uh, Yomer Sanchez at second base and Adam Engel out in center field. Uh, for the rotation, uh, a lot of upside here, too. You got Carlos Rodon, uh, Renato Lopez, Ivan Nova. It's an okay top three. Lucas Giolito. Uh, him and Rodon and Renato Lopez all are were kind of higher-end prospects. Uh, Rodon broke out a little more last year than the other two, but uh, Lopez and Giolito still have some pretty good upside. And uh, Manny Banuelos uh, will probably slot in as the fifth starter. Alex Colome will be their closer. And another uh, decent pitching prospect, they got Michael uh, Kopech, uh, going to start in the IL. So uh, things will start to look up for the White Sox here in the next coming years, but uh, 2019, I'm not so sure, is going to be their year. Next up in the AL Central, we got the Cleveland Indians. 91-71 last year, won the division. Uh, probably the favorites to win the division again this year, as uh, most of their division is kind of rebuilding. Uh, Francisco Lindor dealing with some injury problems. Uh, not sure he'll be there on opening day, but eventually he will be at shortstop and batting leadoff for them. Uh, same thing with Jason Kipnis. Uh, Jose Ramirez also dealing with injuries, so their top half of the lineup is a little questionable for the first couple weeks of the season, uh, but they'll be pretty steady once they come back. Uh, Carlos Santana back in Cleveland. He's going to play first base and probably bat out of the cleanup slot. They picked up Hanley Ramirez. They're going to throw him a DH. Uh, he was with Boston last year. got cut. So he's probably going to try and bounce back. Uh, Jake Bauer is out in left field. Tyler Naquin in right field. Leonis Martin in center field. And behind the plate, they got Roberto Perez. Uh, they got a rotation of Kluber, Trevor Bauer, Carlos Carrasco, uh, Mike Clevenger and Shane Bieber. So they have one of the stronger rotations in the league. Uh, pretty deep. Uh, they still got Danny Salzahar, and although he hasn't been as great uh, as he was when he first came up, uh, still more depth to be had. Uh, Brad Hand at closer, and they're also still waiting on Bradley Zimmer to come back. So uh, definitely the favorites to win the division again. Really good lineup once everybody's healthy and a super deep rotation. So should be another good 2019 for the Indians. Next up, we got the Detroit Tigers, uh, 64 and 98 last year. Um, not great. Uh, Cabrera was hurt all year, basically, kind of hurt them. Uh, for their lineup this year, they picked up Josh Harrison this off season. He's going to be at second base. Uh, Nick Castellanos out in right field had a good year last year. Probably going to have another good year this year. Uh, Miguel Cabrera in the three slot, DH in. Definitely going to have a bounce back the year, year this year if he stays healthy. In the floor slot, uh, probably Nico Gudrum at first base. Uh, he's got a lot of pop. Uh, Castellanos and Cabrera should be on base. Plenty for him to drive in. Uh, Christian Stewart out in left field. Uh, Heimer Candelario uh, at third base. He's pretty good. Uh, Jordy Mercer over at shortstop. Grayson Griner at catcher. And Mike Matuk is out in center field. Uh, so pretty top-heavy. Like Top four is decent. In the bottom half of the lineup, really you can really just feel it kind of fade away. Um, they're missing Jacoby Jones, but he's really not going to help that much. As for the rotation, 
Uh, Jordan Zimmerman, he's kind of getting beat up this spring. Hasn't had a good year in a couple of years. Uh, Matthew Boyd, Matt Moore, Tyson Ross, and Daniel Norris. Uh, kind of another one of those thrown together veteran pitching staffs. Nothing super high in there, but uh, guys who have done stuff before and can get you some innings. And uh, at closer for them is going to be Shane Green. And they still are missing Michael Fulmer. Uh, that does kind of suck for them. He had a pretty good year a couple years ago. And uh, he's not going to be healthy for most or all of this season. Now let's talk about the Kansas City Royals. 58-104 and 104 last year. They're pretty much in rebuild mode right now. Uh, but they definitely have an exciting team for being a team that's not really going to compete. Uh, you got Whit Merrifield and Alberto Montesi at the top, going to steal a ton of bases, get on base a lot. Uh, Alex Gordon in left field, Jorge Soler, never really lived up to his full hype yet, but he can hit some home runs driving those guys in front of him. Uh, Ryan O'Aaron at first base, Hunter Dozier at third base, Brian Goodwin in right field. Uh, Salvador Perez is lost for the season, so Martin Maldonado is going to catch for them. And then they got Billy Hamilton from this offseason. Uh, he's going to play center field for them. So they're going to have Hamilton, Merrifield, and Mondesi at some point, all three in a row. So that's just a ton of stolen bases just sitting there. Going to be a lot of fun to watch, even though they still might not be that good. Uh, for the rotation, you got Danny Duffy, Brad Keller, Jacob Junis, Jorge Lopez, and Ian Kennedy. So uh, mostly veteran guys there are going to eat up some innings uh, and hopefully have some durability for the team. Uh, Brad Boxberg is going to do most of the closing this year. And like I said earlier, Salvador Perez is out for the season, but hopefully he'll be back and ready to go next season. Lastly, out of the AL Central, we'll talk about the Minnesota Twins. 78 and 84 last year. Uh, this is kind of my dark horse in the American League, especially in the Central. If anybody's going to compete for the division with the Indians, it's definitely going to be the Twins. I really, really kind of like their team. Uh, leading off, you got Max Kepler, Jorge Polanco at shortstop, batting second. Uh, Nelson Cruz they got this offseason. He's going to be dh for them, driving in a bunch of runs out of that three slot. Uh, Eddie Rosario out in left field. C.J. Krohn batting fifth, playing first base. Marwan Gonzalez at third base. Jonathan Scope at second base. You know, just a, just a bunch of people they picked up or have traded for recently. Uh, just kind of makes their lineup look really, really deep. Uh, Jason Castro is catching, and then Byron Buxton, who everybody's starting to hype up again, uh, out in center field this year. Uh, so if he if he breaks out, they could really turn this lineup around and really let them compete for this division. Uh, that's also without McGill Sano, who will be coming back and eventually challenging for some playing time. Uh, he's starting the year off on the IL, but we'll see what he looks like when he comes back. Uh, for their rotation, Jose Barrios. Jake Odorizzi at the top. They picked up Michael Pineda. And uh, so he's he's been pretty good, bounced around a couple teams. But uh, before he was suspended, he was actually pitching really, really well. Uh, Kyle Gibson and Martin Perez. So their rotation's actually not that bad, has a lot of potential. Uh, I think Trevor May's going to win the closer job. Uh, he has really good ratios and can strike out a lot of people, keep a, little, a lot of people off the base. But they might end up stretching him out into that kind of super reliever role. Uh, and having him pitch in just super high leverage situations. And uh, they still have Addison Reed. They're waiting to come back from IL too. So their bullpen's not looking too bad, and their lineup looks super deep to me, and I really think that they have a chance to win this division. So those are my projections for the AL Central, kind of my projected go-to lineups uh, that I think most of the teams are going to roll with. Uh, like I said, I think the Indians are probably still going to win the division, but I really like the Twins challenging them. Uh, for this year. Let me know who you think is going to win this division down in the comments, and thanks for watching.